Welcome to Harajuku. Today I will show you the best 10 things to do here. And I'm not alone. I have thankfully support by... Ozzy Awesome. Hey, what's up guys? Like the name suggests, Ozzy's content is awesome. So if you have the time, please check out his channel. It's linked in the description box below. I'm going to be doing the best things that you can eat in Harajuku. So check that out. I'm going to be doing best things to do in Harajuku, oh. except food. Let's just go have fun. First on our list is Meiji Jingu, a famous shrine whose entrance is right next to Harajuku station. The shrine itself is about a 10 to 15 minute walk away from the entrance. The sake barrels you see behind me are offered to the deities enshrined in Meiji Jingu, which are Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken. They are renewed every year and are offered by an association created specifically for this purpose. And there's European wine as well. Meiji Jingu is one of the most important Shinto shrines in Japan and also the largest in Tokyo. And its fame shows in all the people you can see here. So even though it's only 11 a.m., I say only because I think it's still early on a Saturday, there are so many people everywhere. If you go close, you can still get some nice shots for your Instagram. Another great thing to do in Harajuku is visit Yoyogi Park. Yoyogi Park used to be the Olympic village of the Tokyo Olympic Games in 1964 and since then has been transformed into this marvelous park which also has way less people than Meiji Jingu. Another great thing to do in Harajuku is visiting the NHK Studio Park. There you can watch all your favorite characters from NHK, if you have any. And you can also see how a television show is produced and maybe even see some live show while it's being recorded. Let's have a look. As you would imagine when it's about television characters, this area is very popular amongst kids, which you can already see outside of the building. For the two of us, however, seeing and trying some of the technology used by NHK was more appealing. Another great thing to do in Harajuku is watch street performances. There are some that are more popular and others that are not so popular. These ones particularly are right in front of Yoyogi Park. So if you take a look at the park and even at Meiji Shrine, then you will find them right after the exit. I recommend doing Harajuku. Harajuku. Okay. Harajuku has very famous street. It's called Takeshita Street. Probably we will go to Takeshita Street first. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Takeshita Street is probably the best known part of Harajuku, I think at least. And it's well known for lots of lots of people. So if you're claustrophobic, don't come here. If you're not, then maybe take a look. Uh, I think it's very popular also among tourists, but still it's nice to see. And it has a lot of kawaii things, like cute things, lots of things catered to youth, lots of candy, lots of sweet stuff. So if you're into that, definitely give it a try. Daiso is another of my recommendations in Harajuku. So I will go to Germany soon, so I need souvenirs. And fans are easy and nice and Japanesey. 
So perfect. Also, I have subscribers, but now I also have fans. So why would I recommend the 100 yen store to you to visit in Harajuku? But first of all, this is actually the largest 100 yen store in Tokyo. And second of all, it's perfect to get cheap souvenirs. For example, tableware in Japanese style, or fans, which I often buy, and more. What is more? Snacks, candy, party outfits, and this. This is Condomania. Condomania is, like the name suggests, a store with mostly condoms. Uh, so it's perfect for buying the, the inappropriate souvenir. While it's fun, it also has actually a more serious background. The store was created to raise awareness to using condoms and preventing STDs. Also, it's not allowed to film inside, so you have to imagine lots of condoms and funny patterns on things and stuff. Kiddyland is Harajuku's flagship toy store. Founded in 1950, it hosts five floors full of toys that will make both kids and adults happy. Studio Ghibli, Pokemon, Hello Kitty or Star Wars. It's all there. Are you my father? I don't think he's my father. They only have his like Japanese name, Kabigong. But I don't know his English name. Let me know in the comment section. He looks like me. Huh? Overweight. Oh, yeah. Now I'm in front of Oriental Bazaar. Oriental Bazaar is a shop which has uh, souvenirs in a more traditional Japanese style. So if you want to get a yukata, like a kimono like thing. Or if you want to get a jimbe, that's a summer pajama-ish clothing. Or if you want to get like teacups and so on, you can get it here. You can also get Tokyo and Samurai style t-shirts as well. It's definitely catered for tourists and a little bit more pricey than for example Daiso, the 100 yen store of course. But still, I personally went there a lot when I still was visiting Japan as a tourist. So maybe it's also something for you. The shop consists of three floors. In the basement and on the first floor you can find new goods and on the second floor antiquities. This time it's a temple. This temple is called Zenkoji and as you can see it's only us here so there are no other people, it's completely empty. Right behind the temple is a bustling street, over there are skyscrapers everywhere but right here there's only the temple and it's almost quiet. Almost. <laughs> no other people. I think that's really nice and that's one of the maybe even unique things in Tokyo. So you have the large street and all of a sudden in a side road you see a temple, a shrine, something completely different. I have a love and hate relationship with temples in Japan. I like them, they are beautiful. But in Japan funerals are held in Buddhist ceremonies and that's the connotation I have to Buddhist temples as well. That's also why there's a cemetery like this close to most of them. And last thing to do in Harajuku is of course eat food. And who better could talk about food than Ozzy? Yeah. So head on over to my channel because uh, since we've been walking around and looking at all the fun things to do in Harajuku, I've been filming things that you can eat in Harajuku. So that will be on my channel. It will be awesome. Yes. And it was awesome hanging out with him. Yeah. Thank you so much for being mostly behind the camera, but you had me a lot. Yeah, we had a good time. It was yeah. good. Thank you for eating a lot of the food. So, <laughs> no problem, no Because problem. I can't have a lot of sweets, he was uh, covering for me, so that's cool too. So don't forget to sub to his channel as well, if you haven't already done so. Leave awesome. any comments you want, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll do a collab together and see each other soon. Yeah, sure. Yeah, good for times. For now, good times. guys, thank you for watching. Yes. And see you next time. Take care. <laughs>